Okay, good morning once again. Uh, this is the continuation of uh, the topics that we are having for ANSI 2, uh, Introduction to Livestock and Poultry Production. And this would be part of the, uh, the last topics that we are having for the subject. Okay, so I have here uh, the common management practices in poultry production. Okay, so that means that I'm going to discuss to you uh, what are those management activities that should be done in poultry production. Kung unsa to mga pamaagi sa management ng atong buhaton para sa paghimo ng malampuso ng ato ang poultry project. Okay? So there are many factors that we are going to consider in terms of the different practices or management practices in poultry production. So I think uh, you have uh, partly uh, learned and observed those practices because you have already undergo many uh, broiler projects in our subject. So uh, that alone uh, with your uh, application you can uh, get this, these theories on the application of the different management that you have. Uh, so, uh, the practices that you are having uh, in your project, uh, this would relate to those activities. Okay, so the first uh, management uh, practices that you should consider in poultry production is the housing. Okay. So, the importance of the type of poultry housing system employed for chicken production cannot be overemphasized. Uh, we need to really give importance sa taga na bili ng housing sa ang mga poultry animals. Okay? So, it's because uh, it will protect the birds or poultry animals from the harsh environmental climatic conditions. Okay, it will protect, the housing will protect your poultry animals sa ulan, init, hangin, kusog, bugno, nga panahon, uh, gaulan, gabaha, o guban pa. The housing will protect your poultry animals. No? Because if they cannot be protected by those environmental climatic conditions, the chicken's performance and productivity will be affected. So, mapiktuhan ang inyong performance of production sa inyo ang poultry animals kung wala mo itarong nga housing. Okay? Mapiktuhan man siya sa environmental conditions nga naa sa iya ang area. So, we really have to give importance on the housing that we are going to build for our poultry animals. Next one is brooding. So, you know, when it comes to brooding, it's basically uh, uh, all about the chicks. No? So the brooding period is a critical time of development for many systems within a bird or poultry animals. And it occurs from time of placement even beforehand as the farm prepares for the new flock to around two weeks of life for the young chick. So basically, ang brooding na to is focused on the chicks, no? Na naa ang inyo ang uh, poultry production. No? It states there that uh, because it's still chicks, it should, they are still developing on, there's still development on the different system, animal body systems of the poultry animal. Uh, basically, the, the, the digestive system is, is still developing, uh, nervous, the, the circulatory, and so on and so forth. They are still developing. That's why brooding should be properly uh, managed. No? So, there are areas that must be monitored carefully during the brooding period. So, the first one is regulation of body temperature. That's why brooding uh, needed artificial heat no it's because uh, the chicks alone cannot uh, cannot control uh, its body temperature 
So kung bugnaw kayong panahon, ma-feel na nila kung bugnaw nga panahon. So, they will need artificial heat para lang nga mo-regulate ang ilang body temperature. Skeletal and muscle system is needed also for development. No? Then, immune system. So, as a chick, we all know uh, from your broiler project that in the chick stage of the broiler project ninyo, it was very critical. No? Kay dali mo, sakit, daot, guban pa. No? So, that's why you have to have proper brooding management to secure good immunity or to enhance the immune system of your chicks or basically the poultry animals that you are having. Next is the feeding. <clears throat> feeding in terms of cost, uh, feeds is the most important input for intensive poultry production. And the availability of low price, high quality feeds is critical for the expansion of the poultry industry. So that statement alone stay, says that the feeds is the very uh, the most important input. So muna siya gibhatag na to sa poultry animals. No? Pinakadako po na siya o cost in terms of kanang kanang to call this uh, expenses, no? Okay, basically it uh, it sums up 60 to 70 percent of your production expenses, no? So to have to give them proper feeding and feeds, no? It will maximize their performance and good health. So, nga naman, because poultry animals need a steady supply of energy, protein, essential amino acids, minerals, vitamins, and most importantly, water. That can be given through feeding. Okay? So, I think you all have uh, experienced the, ex the importance of feeding in your broiler project. So, you already know that uh, it has a big uh, input on your poultry production feeding. Okay. Next is the flock health or the animal, the poultry animals health. The best fed and housed stock with the best genetic potential will not grow and produce efficiently if they become diseased or infested with parasites. So, kung bisan pag inyo ang <clears throat> poultry animals is mayo kaon, mayo pagka housing, nya guapo og genetic traits, no? They will not grow and produce efficiently if magdaot na sila. If they become or oh, they will have diseases or it will be infested with parasites. So if the the health of your animals will be affected, then uh, the potential of uh, growth and and productive performance of your poultry animals will also be affected. Therefore, good poultry health management is an important component of poultry production. So I think you have observed that also on your broiler project that when when your chicks or poultry uh, your chicks or broilers was uh, sick or having a certain diseases. It had really effect on their growth performance and productivity. Okay, so flock health is very important. Cleanliness and sanitation. So by keeping a good hygiene protocol, you lower the chance of animal diseases within your shed walls or housing. You can prevent the spread of infectious germs in your shed by, among other things, thoroughly cleaning and infecting the compartments. No, so cleanliness and sanitation. I think. I basically emphasize it during your broiler project that uh, you have to clean uh, daily your uh, your uh, uh, project area so that uh, diseases that uh, is coming out from unsanitized or uncleaned area will not in, will not infect your poultry animals. Okay, kung ang inyong palibot sa inyong ang um, area or within the area or yung cages or housing is very clean as very is not clean no uh, 
the the bacteria there will accumulate and probably can uh, uh, induce diseases on the poultry animals that you are having. Next is the environmental factor. So environmental factors are generally recognized to have a major impact on the production of meat and eggs from poultry. So this includes so temperature, humidity, light, uh, altitude, and wind velocity, solar energy, quality of air and water, and density of population. So uh, there, these are the different environmental factors that we are going to consider. I check na to kung sakto bang temperature, humidity, no, <clears throat> the light, no, kay kinang naman ang light in terms of egg productivity, uh, uh, the, the, the presence of oxygen, no, the yun, ang air movement within the housing, kung sakto ba ang airflow within the kuan, inyong housing, no, so you have to consider these different uh, factors that you, uh, uh, environmental factors that we are having, no, Kay di mo pwede nga, <clears throat> di na to i-consider kay, <clears throat> it would really affect the production of meat and eggs of the poultry. And the last one would be biosecurity. Biosecurity refers to practices designed to prevent, reduce, or eliminate the introduction and spread of diseases. Concerns over the spread of animal diseases, particularly those of foreign origin, are high with <laughs> in the livestock industry. So, mo sabot, kini biosecurity is a preventive measure no preventive measure that can reduce or eliminate the introduction and spread of diseases kung sabot galikay kaning biosecurity atong gibutang ni siya sa ato ang poultry production farm kay para dili kasulod ang sakit kung naay sakit ma reduce kung naam gani sakit dili mo daghan or bukatay no? What are those biosecurity? Kanang, for example, kanang foot bath, kanang disinfection, uh, regular disinfection within the area, no? using mga disinfectants, no? uh, kanang giving time to housing to, to recorporate on the, the productivity that is having. Kung dagang kayo, sige siya, um, ang imo ang housing is puno sige kanang poultry animals so imong hatagal time nga makarecover siya so imong harvest yung tong poultry animals nimo let it set let it sit for at least uh, 2 weeks baka ha nga wala animals nga mosulod dito para makarecover siya para in terms of mugutang tapuhon og mga animals dito balik no so dili pundo wala gada pundo ang mga bacteria dito or viruses nga maka cause og mga diseases no so ang biosecurity is designed no para malikayan ma-reduce ma-eliminate kung dili ka spread ang mga sakit nga naa dito okay so i think that would be all and good day everybody